All right, guys, so in today's video, we gotta be talking about if film school is for you, if you should go to film school, and everything that is involved on that. This is not just my opinion. Um, I am blessed in many ways to live in New York, right by Kaufman Studios. What it means, a lot of my friends are actually working on that field as producers, directors, and everything between. All right, so the first thing, what type of people you're gonna find in film school? And the first ones, the film foodies. All right, <laughs> let me just be clear with that. Uh, everybody knows foodies. Uh, usually it's the people that they really have no idea what food is, but they really talk the talk, they talk really loud about it, and they act like they know more than they actually do. Well, that's one of the type of people that you will find on film school. Now, it's kind of the people that someone like me find annoying because they will use big words that a lot of times they don't even know what they mean. And I guess at some point they're gonna scoop by, they will just keep on going and eventually they're gonna realize that that was a waste of their time. All right, so the next time of guys you're gonna find on film school, the running gun filmmakers. And I know it's gonna sound funny, but it, it has to do with a lot of people that join film school thinking that the moment they get in film school, first month, they, someone just gonna hand them a camera or anything else, they just gonna start to make movies. Just let you guys know, it's not how film, uh, film school works. You go through a process. Uh, right in the first few months, you will have to do some videos, but it's mostly so you understand the concept of filmmaking. One of the things I found out, a lot of people, even on, on some of those projects, they used to film like they're doing a TikTok. And one, one of the things about film is everything is landscape. Um, trust me, you would hate to see a movie that is filmed like TikTok. Okay, so it's a learning curve. It doesn't mean that if you're a run gun filmmaker, someone that thinks like, you know, I'm just going to jump in and start to make movies. It's not going to happen, but it does not mean that you will not be able to adapt and actually develop into a real filmmaker. All right, next slide. Look at all that film gear filmmakers. So I do know a lot of people, um, when they joined film school, it had to do with all the gear you get from film school. Now, let me be very clear, a lot of those people will, I, I feel they join filmmaking school because they look at all the free gear they're gonna get. That free gear is part of your tuition, so, it's not free, you're paying for it. And to be honest, a lot of times I don't feel they know what they're gonna do with that. Maybe they're gonna start a YouTube channel. But anyway, uh, all the gear I have right now didn't come from film school besides my Mac Pro, who that I'm still getting used to use since I was always a PC guy. So, but still, it, it wasn't the reason why I chose film school. And I would be very careful because you're looking at very expensive school and not so expensive gear in comparison. So, yeah, it's cool, but honestly, you can buy yourself. And all right, the last type. The real filmmakers. 
Now I don't work in filmmaking yet. Um, but what I mean by real filmmakers are people that actually have a passion for filmmaking, not just passion for watching movies. And there's a big difference. Uh, you may want to make a movie, but there's a lot more intel to it. And one of the reasons is you barely learn enough to be a cameraman. You barely learn enough to write a, sc a screenplay. But when you put everything together, you learn how to make a filmmaker, to be a uh, filmmaker. And that's where the money is. That's what you're really doing on film school. You're learning everything about everything, but you're level. Now, I feel that film school is kind of like being a doctor in some sense. And what I mean by that is you have to be studying the whole time. It's not just about passing your classes, it's about being the best you can in the field. So real filmmakers are the people that they devote their lives to the art and they take the most they can from the school. All right, so one of the main things people always ask, do I need to go to film school to become to work in the business, not even to become a filmmaker, to work on the film industry. No, you don't. Uh, I actually, like I said, I live right next to Kaufman Studios in New York City. I know a lot of directors, producers, uh, people that work with lighting, screenwriters, uh, costume designers, they did not go to film school. But one thing I'm going to tell you is I'm good friends with them, and that's a debate we always have. They will tell me it took them a lot longer to get to the point they are because they had to learn in the business. And one of my friends, for example, he's a director, producer, and he started with sound. And someone decided that he should write. And he did well, but they had to correct him a lot. One of the things he said to me was that while he did not go to film school, it would have helped him a lot to start his career earlier in the position he was at. So, you do not need to go to film school to work in a business, but it's not something that's gonna stop you or hinder you. All right, one thing everybody says is don't spend your money on film school, you can learn everything from YouTube. Now for an experience, I had issues starting film school. Uh, everything had to do with me getting my transcripts from Brazil to the United States. So for four years, I did study filmmaking using YouTube. And I learned a lot. Now, one thing I have to say about that is even within six months on film school, I learned a lot more. And basically, it's not that I learned um, editing more than I already knew. It was more it gave me a direction. So I used to edit videos for myself. What it meant, I didn't care about whatever names the files had, um, how I set up the editing or anything. And on film school, I'm actually learning to work with a group because trust me, I'm not saying it's impossible, but you probably is not, you're not going to make a move by yourself. So there's a lot that 
I learned that eventually, probably, I would have learned, even from YouTube, but it would have taken a lot longer. And I don't think people would take me as seriously at this point. All right, so last thing, and it's really before you apply for film school, it's film school for you. So, and I could be wrong, again, something that I discussed with my friends who work in business, a film school, I really don't feel is for everyone, the sense of, what you want to do in your career in film. If you want to be a producer, if you want to be a director, yes, you probably should go to film school if you have the chance, unless you're able to just walk yourself into the business. And some people can do it, but mostly people can't, okay? So, and the reason for that is film school will teach you the whole business. What is very important for directors, producers to understand. And don't take me wrong, yes, please, screenwriters, understand the business because you can write an epic having only a million dollar budget, you'll not be able to film that epic. So it would be great for screenwriters to actually go to film school, but honestly, you usually have a screenwriting degree that you should go to. And hopefully, I don't know what they're doing there, but hopefully they do teach you, you know, to budget for the story you're making. But anyway, I digress. Uh, yes, I don't feel, if you want to be a cameraman, you probably do not need to do film school. I'm not saying you wouldn't gain a lot from it because understanding how everything works in the movie industry will always make you a better professional. It doesn't matter what side of the movie industry you are, but you probably will not gain as much from it. Okay, now if you're a producer, director, yes. Uh, or actually, I should say, if you want to do this in your life, that's probably the degree you want to. Also because you're looking at minimum, probably, $70,000 tuition. It's not cheap. Film school, all that gear, like I said, that you get, you're paying for it, one way or another. For example, my Nice Mac Pro that it cannot order online, 32 gigabytes RAM, one terabyte memory, huge. Try to order online, you can't. It's a custom order. I would never have paid for a computer that much money. Okay, now, yes, I get it. In the business, you need the Mac Pro. And that's what I have but it's all my tuition. So you can buy all that stuff without paying tuition. Just doing the whole thing yourself if you want to try yourself out. $10,000, you probably get the whole equipment you need. But you'll not have a degree, you'll not learn as much. So it really depends what you want to do. You want to work on lighting, I have great friends, they can do magical stuff with lighting. They don't have a degree. They work in business and they always have work. So think about what you want to do in the industry. Do some research before you start film school. Anyway guys, that's your boy Russian. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it helped someone that plans to go to film school. Um, if you guys don't mind, you know the whole thing. Give me a like, subscribe, hit that notifications bell. Trust me, YouTube algorithm. It's gonna love me if you do that. Anyway, guys, hope you have a nice week. I'm sorry the video was so late, but it's here. <laughs>